What's up, people? This is Robert Bassano. Man, if any of you ever watched any of the videos I put up before with Project Planate, you'll know I can't stand NASA. Man, if there was any government organization on this earth that needed to be immediately dissolved and disbanded, and just fire everybody that works for their ass and never let them work in another collateral government agency on this planet is fucking NASA. Everything they've ever put out since inception is all bullshit. If you're a flat earther, you know that. And if you're not a flat earther and you love NASA, because there are a lot of fucking people out there who love NASA. If somebody from NASA, Charlie Bolden, walked into your house right now and you're, you're a heliocentrist and you believe in the ball, you believe everything NASA, you probably pull down your wife's underwear and tell her to go in the bedroom to have sex with Charlie Bolden. Or you probably get on your knees and give Charlie Bolden a blowjob because you love him that much. That's your prerogative. But let me show you something. Let me show you people who keep paying your tax, who keep paying their fucking taxes, providing funding for this type of bullshit that they put out into the public domain. Trying to convince people. Trying to fucking convince people that the space program is real. NASA is strong. Our NASA is strong. Man, the only fucking thing strong is your bad motherfucking breath and the shit that you're putting out fucking into the public domain. I couldn't resist. When I found this video, I could not resist because this video belongs in the top fucking three fake fucking videos of all time for NASA and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Number one would be the moon landing. Number two would be that fake ass fucking SpaceX rocket barge landing. And by the way, that wasn't a fucking landing. That was literally video shot in reverse. That was a rocket taken off on the fucking barge. And they reversed the fucking footage to make it look like it was landing. Just look at it again. That fucker was taking off. It was not landing. Number three would be this fucking video right here. And I'm going to show you. It's the NASA launches the soil moisture mapping system in 2015. Just watch this shit. Incredible. T minus 15 seconds. Green board. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Main engines start and lift off of the Delta II rocket with SMAP. Making global observations of soil moisture for climate forecasting. SMAP spacecraft team on the ground. Standing by here at Vanity. So what's funny about this, nearly one fucking hour later, after the launch, they decide to turn the fucking cameras on. They don't want you to see the multi-stage activity of this Delta rocket after it took off. Now some people will think, okay, well the launch was at night time, it was probably in the middle of the night, there's really nothing to see, bullshit there ain't nothing to see. You got video cameras on that rocket. You'd be able to see some nighttime lights or somewhere around California. You might be able to see Hawaii. You might be able to see San Francisco. You might be able to see LA. But why wouldn't you show the multi-stage separations? Instead, an hour later, an hour later, you cut the video right after the launch and said, okay, we got to piece this video together now. Now let's Let's, let's show them the fucking thing out in orbit. I want you to pay close attention to this shit. Because this Delta rocket is supposed to be moving at more than 10,000 miles an hour. 
We don't know what altitude it's at. This, we can assume maybe it's in excess of 320,000 feet above the surface of the Earth, maybe higher. Maybe higher. The height and altitude is, is irrelevant at this point. Let's just pay attention to the speed. We don't know what the speed is, but we know this shit's got to be more than 10,000 miles an hour, right? But I want, to watch, I want you to watch and see what happens when they release this fucking satellite, supposedly into orbit. Pay close attention. Spacecraft separation. Fake-ass Earth in the background. And we have the brake wires. And spacecraft separation. Good spacecraft separation. The SMAP payload, the Soil Moisture Active Passive Spacecraft, has now successfully separated from the Delta II launch vehicle and is flying on its own. Now, they just released the spacecraft, right? So... Just like we've seen in space shuttle launches, when when you see the rockets release or you see a satellite get released, those fucking things get jettisoned out from the rocket, and they they're flying, man. I mean, they're they're traveling in excess of ten thousand miles an hour. They just got pushed out into low Earth orbit, geosync orbit. So eventually, you should not be able, if we continue to watch, when, once we continue to watch this video, eventually, you should not be able to see this fucking thing as it continues its journey away from the Delta II rocket, right? Not in this fucking case, you don't. Somehow, this fucking thing's got a mind of its own. Okay? Keep watching. First of three of the Peapod spacecraft deploys is now scheduled about 48 minutes from now. 57 minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. And we do have telemetry lockup on the spacecraft through Tedris. Now, I'm not an aerospace or astronaut engineer or systems engineer. So, I don't know what he meant. I have no idea what he meant when he says they have telemetry lockup. Okay? That could mean that after they released this thing, it fired its propulsion jets to slow it down, you know, to allow the red, the arrays, the solar arrays to deploy and to power this thing up so it can start doing this thing. Right? That's what I was thinking. But no. There's no fucking way. Because this thing can't be more than fucking maybe one and a half, two, maybe three football fields away from this Delta IV rocket. And when it got released, the Delta IV rocket still traveling at excess of 10,000 miles an hour, supposedly. When you see the Earth rotating in the background, it looks like this fucking Delta IV rocket is fucking stationary. Because the Earth rotating in the background and the Delta IV ain't moving. At all. It's just staying right there in the frame. You could say the fucking thing's in park in orbit. I'll accept that. But this fucking satellite starts to deploy the solar arrays. But it's not traveling any further away from the rocket. It's just sitting there. What the fuck? Really? This isn't fucking critical, man. And there go the arrays. I mean, this is a bunch of bullshit, people. This satellite ain't moving any further away from that Delta Far work. It is fucking stationary right now. 
and it should be fucking moving out in distance away from the Delta IV rocket. And eventually, within the next 20, 30 seconds, you shouldn't fucking see this thing anymore. You shouldn't fucking see it. Period. I mean, this is what your tax day dollars are paying for. And the spacecraft is reportedly power positive, 18 amps on the solar arrays. Eighteen amps on the solar arrays. I'm not even gonna get into that. Look, people. <laughs> if you follow NASA and you believe everything they put out, there's nothing I can do about that. If you think that video you just saw was a real fucking satellite in being put into orbit based on every video you've ever seen of a satellite being launched you tell me why that satellite didn't behave just like every fucking other satellite that's been launched supposedly in orbit how it just stopped all of a sudden it just fucking stopped I want to know what kind of propulsion system they got on this motherfucker where it can be driving at 10,000 miles then BAM! Hit the fucking brakes and be like, <laughs> hold on for a second, Charlie. You forgot something. If you are working for NASA right now, or if you have worked for NASA and you're listening to this video, you watch this video, you need to go hang yourself. Because working for NASA, it, it, it appears you you only need basic fucking web development, Java, Linux, Microsoft, and basic video skills. Shit, I know YouTubers, amateur YouTubers who can do fucking better videos than this. I don't give a shit what kind of degree you have. You work for NASA, you a dumb motherfucker. Dumb as fuck. Because you can't be using what you learned in school to help NASA produce high quality, believable video and photographic images. I mean, the artist renditions, we know they're fake, but some of the artist renditions look better than this bullshit. This is what your tax dollars are paying for. You love NASA, even if you hate I mean, even if you hate NASA, it should piss you off just to see this type of bullshit. They are slapping you in the fucking face with this shit. They're laughing their asses off and saying, ah, oh, six and a half billion people are dumb as fuck. They will believe anything we put out. And then the other half a billion are saying, what the fuck? Are they really coming out and being this obvious? Or are they really trying to insult us so intensely to tell us, yeah, it's fake. What the fuck are you going to do about it? You still got to pay your taxes. And if you don't pay your taxes, we'll make sure your ass goes to jail. This is the shit. This is what they're producing, people. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California Institute of Technology. And if you work for the California Institute of Technology, you're a dumb fuck, too. Because you can't produce shit that's fucking believable. And if you're getting fucking federal financial aid to pay for your fucking education, well, mommy and daddy's paying for it. Mommy and daddy should cut your fucking ass off for producing this kind of bullshit. Man, people... I can't say enough that you all need to wake the fuck up. Do you want these motherfuckers to stop doing this shit? Complaining about it is not going to get them to come out and tell the truth about it. You got to get your state representative, your your congressman, your senators involved in this shit. You got to produce this type of evidence. You got to put this shit in front of a congressional hearing that says, 
how many people in this damn hearing hall believe this video is real? Believes that that satellite is really in orbit? Congress and Senate is a bunch of, full of a bunch of dumb fucks too. But the only way to get this shit to stop is to stop funding these motherfuckers, man. If a million, two million, ten million, twenty million, thirty million people just said, fuck the NASA, fuck Congress, fuck the Senate, fuck the IRS, I ain't fucking paying my taxes for this type of bullshit to be put out for my kids to watch and believe that this shit is real. You better show me some real fucking shit. Make one of these motherfuckers strap on a fucking spacesuit. Take their fucking lazy asses up there with your camera and tell them you better bring back some good fucking footage, motherfucker. This shit is incredible, people. I couldn't resist putting this video up. And for anybody who don't like the way I deliver it and like the way I speak, I got one thing to say to you. Fuck you. <laughs> this me. I'm going to be me. If you don't like it, go watch another fucking video. I don't give a motherfucking rat's ass. You, you want your kids to watch this, see the truth and all that kind of shit? Do your own fucking homework and research. This ain't a rated G fucking channel. This rated motherfucking R. All the way, baby. Educate your kids. Educate your fucking self. Show them what the truth is really all about. Deliver it the way you want to deliver it. But this is how I deliver it. This is the way I want to put it out. I decide when I, you know, I'm going to put on my politically correct fucking hat. And speak in a manner that's not offensive to people who so goddamn fucking sensitive and ain't got a fucking backbone where the slightest bit of fucking insult hurts their fucking feelings. Fuck you and your feelings, man. You want to be a fucking advocate? You want to put out the truth? You want to put out a clear message? Be about it instead of fucking talking about it. Having crazy drug fucking infested motherfuckers on your fucking channels talking about crazy ass motherfucking shit and doing fucking weed and coke and all that kind of crazy shit. That shit ain't got nothing to do with the flat earth, man. Flat earth is about truth. It ain't just about the fucking planets flat. It's about uncovering every bullshit ass fucking scam that your elected officials and your government is stuffing down your fucking throat and in your face to say, you better believe this because if you don't, they're putting you on the shit list. If you ain't with us, you against us. Man, please. Hey, you people better start doing some real fucking research. Stop using other people's shit. Start looking for the shit yourself. Getting together doing this fucking flat earth day bullshit. The fuck is that gonna do? You better be figuring out how to raise the fucking money to fight these motherfuckers. This shit ain't real. You better start raising some fucking money to fight these motherfuckers with some good ass advertising and marketing. Because they, they, you better be damn sure that they're, they're putting together a plan to get rid of you motherfuckers. You truthers. Got a hard on for motherfucking NASA and shit. You better start packaging this shit together to put in front of your fucking senators and congressmen. Sitting on your motherfucking ass talking about science you don't fucking understand. And I had enough of this shit.